By 2045, Earth has succumbed to overpopulation, pollution, and climate change, resulting in widespread desolation. Amongst this backdrop, we meet Wade Watts, a teenager living in the vertical slums known as the Stacks in Columbus, Ohio. Wade, like many others, finds escape from the grim reality in the Oasis, an expansive virtual reality universe. It's a digital haven where he spends his time as his avatar, Pars Ival, free from the constraints of his poverty-stricken life. The Oasis was created by the genius James Halliday and his friend Ogden Morrow. When Halliday dies, he leaves behind a pre-recorded message announcing a contest. Somewhere within the vast expanse of the Oasis lies an Easter egg. The first person to find it will inherit Halliday's fortune and gain control over the Oasis. This announcement sets off a frenzied competition across the world, with players eager to find the egg and claim the prize. Wade devotes his life to the quest, armed with extensive knowledge of Halliday's life and the pop culture Halliday adored. The first challenge is a seemingly unbeatable race through a cityscape filled with dinosaurs, King Kong, and other dangers. Wade competes as Parzival, using his avatar to navigate the treacherous course, but, like all others, he has yet to reach the finish line. As Wade makes another attempt at the race, he encounters Art 3 Miss, a famous and skilled gunter. Egg Hunter, they share a moment of connection before the race restarts, and Wade is impressed by her skill and knowledge. Despite his admiration for her, the race ends in yet another failure for Wade, leaving him to return to his aunt's trailer in the stacks. Yet, his resolve remains unshaken. He is determined to win the contest and transform his life. This is where we leave Wade. In his tiny space within the stacks, surrounded by his notes on Halliday, dreaming of a future where he is the winner of the greatest contest ever created. Wade, as his avatar Pars Ival, is not alone in his quest. He is part of a community of Gunters, dedicated deck hunters who admire Halliday and despise the corporate entity IOI, led by Nolan Sorrento. IOI's intent is to win the contest by any means to monetize the Oasis, which would rob the users of their final sanctuary. Sorrento, with his vast resources and employees known as Sixers, due to their numerical avatars, is determined to claim the prize. After another failed attempt at the race, Wade encounters Art 3 Miss again. The connection between them is electric and full of mutual respect for each other's abilities. Art 3 Miss is a well-known Ginter and a fierce competitor, but she and Wade quickly form an alliance born out of necessity and a shared goal. Their breakthrough comes when Wade, revisiting Halliday's archives, uncovers a clue missed by all. He deduces that the secret to winning the race lies not in speed or strength, but in an act of counterintuitive defiance, driving in reverse. In the next race, Wade stuns everyone by speeding backward revealing a hidden track that allows him to bypass the chaos and reach the finish line, thus obtaining the first key. Wade's victory puts him at the top of the scoreboard and makes him an instant celebrity in the Oasis, as well as a target for IOI. Sorrento offers Wade a fortune to join IOI, but Wade refuses, understanding the implications of IOI's control over the Oasis. The refusal turns Wade's real life into a nightmare as IOI attempts to kill him by blowing up the stacks. Wade survives, but the attack strengthens his resolve to win the contest and protect the Oasis from IOI's clutches. Wade, now in hiding, is joined by his best friend Each, a fellow Ginter with a talent for building and fighting, as well as the Samurai Dato and the Ninja Shoto. Together, they work to solve the next clue which leads them into a recreation of the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. The team braves the horrors inside and secures the second key, but their success is overshadowed by the real-life kidnapping of Wade's friends by IOI. The Gunters must now race against time, not only to find the third key, but also to save their friends and prevent Sorrento from seizing control of the Oasis. The hunt leads them to a replica of Halliday's childhood home, where Wade must confront his feelings for Art 3 Miss and the reality that winning the contest could change his life forever. As IOI closes in, the Gunters prepare for the final challenge, knowing the fate of the Oasis and their lives hang in the balance. With two keys in their possession, Wade and his allies, now including the resourceful Art 3 Miss, are on the threshold of finding the third and final key. They are not just battling IOI and the Oasis, 
their fight has spilled into the real world. Sorrento, furious and desperate, intensifies his efforts to stop them at any cost. The Gunter's journey leads them to a digital fortress where the last key is believed to be hidden. This fortress is protected by an impenetrable shield generated by IOI, who have also captured the artifact required to reach the final key. Wade formulates a plan to infiltrate the fortress both virtually and physically. While Art 3 Miss undertakes a dangerous mission to disable the shield from within IOI's headquarters, Wade rallies the Oasis community to fight back against Sorrento's forces. The battle that ensues is epic. The Gunters, aided by a legion of Oasis users, clash with the Sixers in a spectacular showdown that spans the digital and real worlds. Amidst the chaos, Art 3 Miss succeeds in her mission and the shield comes down leading to a frenzied dash to the final challenge. Inside the fortress, Parzival faces the ultimate test, a homage to Halliday's favorite video game. The challenge requires not brute force, but an understanding of Halliday's regret and desire for genuine inhuman connection. Parzival's insight leads him to make a profound choice that echoes Halliday's own life, allowing him to secure the last key. Sorrento, in a final act of villainy, activates a cataclysmic bomb that wipes out all players, but Parzival survives thanks to an extra life coin he had previously earned. With the path clear, Parzival claims the Easter egg. Wade, in the real world, is confronted by Sorrento, who is now defeated and arrested. Wade inherits Halliday's fortune and control of the Oasis, but victory is bittersweet. He realizes the importance of balance between the virtual and real worlds. Alongside our three myths, each, Dato and Shoto, Wade decides to share control of the Oasis, ensuring it remains a free and open experience for all. They implement a new policy to shut down the Oasis twice a week, encouraging users to spend more time in the real world. Ready Player One concludes with Wade and Art 3 Miss, now close friends and partners, contemplating their future. They recognize that while the Oasis can offer an escape, the real world, with all its imperfections, is where true life happens. Together, they embark on a new journey to bring balance to both realms, understanding that reality, as messy as it is, is the only place where you can find true happiness and meaning.